<laughs> All right, bro. Starting off the vlog today with um. No, I'm feeling disgusted, bro. I've just woken up. I've one second, one second. The creepy <laughs> landlord. The creepy landlord. All right. So tell me if this is weird, right? You come to a hotel. You book a a pretty decent place. What? It's an Airbnb. Yeah, it was eight hundred dollars for three nights. Regardless of what position you have in. Um, the company or Airbnb, whatever. Like we know an Airbnb hostess, right? Yeah. Like very close to her. Yeah. You don't like Hold on, whatsoever. Wait, wait, wait. We are gonna give you a ring, Marin, about this situation. Yeah. So you don't whatsoever book a place, and then let's just say what two hours later, you're all like comfy, sitting in your place, doing your thing, and then this guy just walks straight in the garage, like. No knock on the door. There's a fucking door right there. He could have knocked. Yeah. But he didn't. He just walked straight through the garage. And that ended was, up ended up at your room. Like that's a pretty big distance to like he didn't even sit at the like the front of the garage. He didn't knock or anything. Like, why can he do that? That's I don't think that's allowed. And then he had the audacity because I kind of got chirpy with the guy. Cause I was annoyed at the time. Like I don't think that's allowed. You, you tell me in the comments section, like, I know it's a pretty weird start to the vlog, but, um... It's a weird, a, wait, it's a nice place, but also fucking weird. It is, a, it, it is a, uh, like, it, it's a beautiful place, but check this out, like, I don't think... Restricted area, do not enter. Now, I come out here this morning, and if you look on this, it looks like blood. Does not like it literally looks like blood. Oh, fuck. I don't know if you can see with a GoPro. Hold on, wait up. No, you know don't, what? Don't, don't break it, but like. No, just well, you know what? Surely you can get. We're, over we're it. investigators now, so it's simple. Yeah. Oh, well, that looks. That doesn't look safe, bro. I don't think you. Flynn, can, you're going up. Flynn, go up, mate. Go up. Come on, Flynn. We need this investigation done, bro. That's not illegal to pass there. Like that's no like, like rich. Just, just get over there. Hopefully he doesn't see this. Get over the fence. No, no, you can see. He's oh, a bit oh. of a weird guy, man. Oh, it's like fucking uh, springs up. What's here, these mate? marks here? No, no, wait, wait, wait. No, wait. No. See if you can get the camera a little bit up there, like, and just see what's up there. Oh shit! Get in there, Flynn. Oh. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Alpha, any restricted area. Oh, there's a few bucks. Oh, shit. oh, there's a tulip. <laughs> All right, take a look around. Like there's a mouldy, oh shit. The mouldy are still there. And look at the window, look at the window. It, <laughs> does that look like blood? What's up, what's up behind here? Um, it's making me feel sick. That's what I'm saying, but, what's um, up there? Uh, just a wall, and then there's a... Is there any Can you see there? that? Poke your head up a little bit. Is that a door? There's a door there. Bro, you can literally see in the GoPro how dirty it is. Okay, now look, look around for it. Because we want to see it too. So there's just that little thing, and then what's going on that door? I don't know. There's a little bit of light. But yeah. Alright guys, as Wes has addressed, we want you guys to comment down below and let us know if this is creepy. I think we've got an undie sniffer and a half. Um, <laughs> it, it's a nice villa other than like, you know, like we've got the little pool there. Um, they're freaking out over there. Got the lounge, the TV. It is a nice little villa, but we got mad creepy vibes. <clears throat> Bathrooms, two rooms, washing machine, and garage. But let me just say that what Wes is talking about is he's walked from... Okay, so he's walked in here all the way and made it to here before we realised that he was in the fucking house. So let us know what you think. Just as we were talking about that, he's messaged Madison's Airbnb account and said, he goes, I'm, I'm coming for you. I'm like, what the fuck? Now I'm very concerned guys, so. If we don't survive, just make sure that you like the video. Okay, we've found where he's filming from. That's that big fish eye lens, water housing. All right guys, after that little drama this morning, we're on our way to the Daintree Rainforest, one of the oldest or the eldest rainforest in the entire world. Um, we could research and find out how many or how old it is, but for now, we're just gonna cruise. 
on this nice little fucking gangster ass road. Maddo's is ready. Yep. <laughs> She's got a sesame seed, whatever it is. We've been eating bananas all morning, bit of water, bit of coffee. Let's get this day on the road. All right, guys, first little cheeky stop on the road. This is on the Captain Cook Highway. And everyone's just built some rocks. What the fuck? This is so cool. I don't know if you call this something. I don't know if the tide comes in and knocks it all over, but how cool is this? I'm sure if the tide come in, it'd just take this all out. That's awesome. Everyone's just built their little thing. Oh, look at the sea. Captain Cook Highway, guys. Um, we're on our way to the Dane Tree Rainforest, as I've said. I oh, know this stuff's just beautiful. This is the biggest one I've spotted. The act of balancing stones carries with it practice of patience and physical effort of creating balance. Each rock can significantly. Oh, can signify an intention of grace and thankfulness or offered up to another in need. Wow. There you go. Guys, really want you to just be aware of um, this weather, all right? Because in about an hour or two, I bet you it's sunny. Like, it doesn't say, you know how like in the Gold Coast, Sydney, Adelaide, wherever you are, um, it will say, oh yeah, it's sunny till this time and then it will be raining or something like that. In Cairns, it looks like there's about to be a cyclone and then it just becomes beautiful. So right now, I'm fucking scared going into this rainforest, but I don't know, I think when we get up there, it'll be sunny and there'll be angels flying around and it'll be all beautiful. Right now, cyclone weather. <laughs> Look at this shit, out to the right. It's dark, like, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know, is this safe, Madison? Yeah, it's just tropical weather. Okay, tropical, you're starting to scare me. Whoever you are, wherever you are, I don't like you. All right, guys, we just pulled up to the ferry, the Jane Tree Rainforest Ferry. We're waiting, there's a massive line. And there was a line, and there was like two cars on the left, Some and I just, some dude gave us this so we can get on it for free. It's usually like 30 bucks, I think. He was in that vlog yesterday. Oh yeah. If you haven't watched that, go check that out. But we just pulled up here and there was two cars on the side of the road and I've just completely cut them off. They're behind us now. <laughs> and, the and the dude's missus was blowing up. So we'll see if there's any repercussion from that. If, if so, I'm just gonna chuck me big, big thing in you know. there. Shout out to the bloke from yesterday's vlog that gave us those green cards. He's just saved us $31 each car. What a gangster. OMG, our first ferry ride together. Woo! Are you excited? Yes. Guys, I'm calling it early today. We're gonna spot a cassowary. Now, have you seen in the pe previous <gasps> vlog? No, that's a, that's a fake one. <laughs> if you've seen the previous vlog, we said we wanted to see a cassowary, so Let's try and see one. I didn't know what they were. We're not making it on this ferry by the looks of it. No, oh, fucking bullshit. Come on, man. Here we go, please, please. Oh, wait, Wes might get on this and we might not. Oh, Look at this. Look, and then he's gonna stop us. He's gonna tell him. Oh, yes. Yeah. You're a legend, bro. Give us the knuckles. You're right yes. Yeah. <laughs> what a legend. Let's go on the feather. Oh my god, this is packed. Straight up the hay diddle mi how are you, bruh? Yo. I've never been on a ferry. Oh, <laughs> I have, but I have, but I just want to make it exciting, you know, we might get Oh come on, squeeze along. Squeeze along. 
Hey, how are you, boss? Mo? Nice, good call, Roger. I'm super excited, guys, to be honest. Like, just being out here, adventuring, living life. It's, a, it's an adventure every day. How are you feeling, Maddoz? I'm feeling excited. We're going slow, though. <laughs> complaint <laughs> after complaint. Um, so we're trying to get to Cape Tribulation, which is about 40 kilometers from here. And then also there's a Daintree Rainforest Center or something. There are two things that we want to see today. Anything over that or more than that is going to be a blessing in disguise. So... If we see one of these Casa snares, I'm gonna knock it straight. I will be swinging left, right, and center. I feel like I'm entering um, Jurassic Park, don't you reckon? Jurassic Park or Jurassic? Jurassic. No, Jurassic. Yeah, I feel like I'm entering that. Well, imagine if Wes's car breaks down right here. <laughs> then we'd be stuck behind him. Oh, I like when people get stuck. Imagine ripping a massive skid getting off the feather. You'd be loving it. Look at the four me on this. Bloody beautiful. I'll tell you right now, I'm a bit of a reviewer and that worked perfectly well. Let's get into the Dane Trail Inn for this near. Hopefully we don't have to drink some piss. Why is Wes on the other side of the road, but I'm overtaking him. Okay, we're 35 kilometers away from Cape Tribulation. Let's go. I want a single file line and COVID distance 1.5. Let's go. Are we good to go through here? Thanks, bro. You? Oh, shit. All right, guys. So what's happened is, is we got these little... Oh, shit. There's already stuff happening. So we've got this little um, thing that tells us everything. So our tour guide's actually on a budget. And then um, <laughs> and then Madison's gonna lead us through here with the book. These are my faves, because they're like yellow, like they're bright. Wow. Python. Wait up, wait up. Let Look at the size of that. Don't knock on that. No, wait, don't do that, because remember in Harry Potter where um, that fat kid falls in? Oh shit, I'm the fat kid. <laughs> oh. oh my God, the face is right there. <laughs> Oh. That is a long python, just oh, like I've got sense. one of them. Guys, I'm, I'm in thongs, yeah? I was going to change, but I was like, nah, fuck that. I want to embrace this, so hopefully none of these snakies just pop out and start fucking swinging out. But yeah, all right, Madison, let's go. Oi, let's go, where's he? Oh no, he's getting the shot. There's a good gap of no people, so let's go. So apparently on this tour, we're going to see cassowaries, which you've been wanting to see, Bullshit. babe. Are we? Oh my god, I'm excited. Like also, if if you um these guys have got a pram and stuff, so you can come here with a pram as well, or probably the elderly in a wheelchair. Wow, so apparently this is eleven meters off the ground, or I think up here might be. I love how they've just designed this, you know, it's fucking cool, hold on wait. Rain shelter, you do tulips getting around that. So a few chulies just popping up like this, so that's the that's the X Men that ah oh, the Queensland nutmeg fuck him up the blues. Last cassowary sighting was on June seventh, so we might be lucky here today. And apparently they can sighting up to sizing up to a cassowary. Oh mate, I've easily got the fucker. What did I say? What is this a baby one? I go there, I go there like Luke's like, he's like, nah, and then you went exactly and it's your heart. This is a cassowary um, that we're going to find today. We're going to find a living one. Wes is on the cassowary, whatever that's called. So what's their diet? Beep, beep. Oh, we're going up this tower. We'll get to the highest point now. What is it? It's a forest canopy. Let's go. Let's 
getting high up here, landing too. Wow, that's beautiful. Now we're just above that building that we're in. I'm fucking puffed, man. Apparently it survived the cyclone. We're getting there, guys. Oh. Landing three. Oh, this is the top. the top and I'm puffed what's this shit here very interesting I think this is 25 meters above ground level um, hopefully you can spot some stuff imagine how many people come here and wait for birds what do you think of Maddo's it's nice it smells fresh 25 meters in the air. Yes, I love it. It's very calming up here. But I just want to see one of them birds cruising around. Yeah. Maybe we should do like a night where we like just do a search for them. We go on a cassowary hunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Everyone's on the phone, mate. Jurassic Park, part 2.7. When dinosaurs began to rule the planet, they all rocked up here and they had a big sesh. And I just felt something fucking on my leg. Oh my Lord, there's a, whoa, T-Rex. How you going buddy? How are you mate? Why oh, someone rip, oh dude, that's sick. It's full breathing and everything, it's awesome. Wow. This is so cool. Australia's, whatever that is. Here he is. The big fella himself. How are you, mate? Give us a handshake. Oh, mini T Rex. That's so cool. The big fluffy one. The plant eater. The demon duck. Look at the demon duck on this bloke. Wow. How are you, buddy? It's the Daintree Discovery Center. Babe, what do you think of it? It's nice. It really takes you back in time. Mate, you were not there in it. time. <laughs> but like, we just learn a lot. These little handheld, these little handheld devices actually they're clear, they sound good, learnt a lot, and um, I know we're up to this little creek and we're about to exit, but look at the beautiful creek. On this nice little bridge you can see through here. And straight there. On to the next spot. Guys, we have no idea where we're going, but this one's leading the way. Flinny and, Weather, Flinny and Wesley are back. Flinny's trying to Flinny's trying to feed the fucking wildlife with his piss. Let's go. Let's see what this is. Oh, yeah, there's full stingers and shit, man. Jesus. Ding, ding, ding. The vinegar. There's crocodiles. They don't go too close. Where's Ooh, pretty salmon. So nice. Shit, it's hot up here, I'll tell you that much. Do you think this is winter? Yeah. <laughs> well, what's the degrees? Like 20 degrees? Let's 26? See. There's like this... Look at the sand. It's like got this glisten to it. 
This is proper beautiful. Oh, I just stole Madison Sunnies. We're here at Cape Tribulation. Flinny, yeah. can I ask you, bro? Just for the vloggy, can you just do a mad video for around here from, with the drone? Uh, it was 10 bucks, mate. 10 bucks? Here we go, mate. Deal. Deal, bro. So we can't. Oh, watch out for the stinging plants. Thanks, bro. <laughs> um, it's an amazing spot of Australia, I tell you that much. So many people here, just all around, vibing, doing whatever the fuck they're doing. Um, the drive through the Dane Tree was amazing, but it is super hot right now. As Madison said, it's like fucking, what, 30, 27 degrees? Mm. Maddo's has found some special well, stuff. Well, that's the sand, it glistens. Yeah, the sand glistens, eh? It's and, it, and it will shine, right? Yeah. Can you see? Put it in the light. Wow. Um, so yeah, Flinny's gonna get like a nice little clip with the drone and we'll insert it now. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, now we've got Wazzy, he's just fallen proper asleep on the beach. Wake up, Jeff. <laughs> Dude, this heat, this humidity, it's got me feeling sleepy. We fucking dripping. Nah, honestly, like, it's hot out here. But yeah. I wish we could at least get out to that ship. Guys, if I can say one thing is get the fuck up here and check this stuff out. Because it's the most beautiful part of Australia. So cute. Where's Droney? Where's our Droney? Let's catch him. Come on, Droney, come, come back. Can I catch him? No. Nah. Can I have a go? No, nah, because you might break. If you break it, you owe me money. Fine. Down, Flynn. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> yeah. Guys, there you go, Cape Tribulation. Hi, guys. I just wanted to. <laughs> Like Caesar. <laughs> anyway, Luke, if you're watching this while you're editing, good job. I'm proud of you. There you are, you little worker. Guys, as you can see, it's an amazing day and trip up to Cape Tripulation. Hope you enjoyed the content. Um, hope you're enjoying the vlogs. Make sure you smash like. Turn on post notifications. Comment down below where you want to see me and Madison go next. And um, thank you so much for the support on the new journey on the channel. I will only be turning the vlog camera on again if something crazy happens or we see a cassowary. But until then, see you guys next time.